It's time y'all, after countless requests to react to the Rubbers animations, we're gonna react to SCP-053, The Young Girl Today, by The Rubber. Make sure to head on over to their channel and subscribe. Hit the notification bell, guys, and if you like reaction videos, make sure to subscribe to my channel as well. Let's get into this animation. Police discovered 053 in the deceased bodies of the couple within the same room. All right. Madeline had died from multiple stab wounds inflicted by Andrew. Dang. He had died from a massive heart attack. Hello, what? everybody. I'm the rubber. That's convenient. Today, we bring you SCP Hello, Foundation rubber. Euclid class object SCP 053. Mm -hmm. Euclid. SCP 053, also known as the young girl, Special is a small three year old girl. Mm -hmm. She is capable of basic speech and right. appears to be slightly above average in terms of mental development. Okay. Three Her personality is generally well. pleasant and she rarely seems to get upset. All right. However, she will That's appear kind of agitated when in a large group. All right. Any and all humans over the age of three who engage in eye contact and physical touch or those who remain around 053 for longer than 10 minutes rapidly become irrational, wow. paranoid, and homicidal. Homicidal? Most, if not all, of these feelings will be directed at 053. Holy and cow. And afflicted subjects will attempt to kill 053 after first killing or driving off all humans visible to them. God. Dang. Those attempting to kill 053 will suffer massive heart attacks <laughs> or seizures and die seconds after what? inflicting physical damage to 053. I know kids can aggravate However, you, but this is ridiculous. 053 has a healing factor that allows her to regenerate oh. almost instantaneously from any wound. Well, that's interesting. According to a recovery log, SCP-053 was discovered on July 10, 2008 okay. in Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania at the residence of Andrew and Madeline. Poor Police who attempted to interact with 053 also suffered from 053's anomalous so effects, three years resulting into it. in five additional casualties before implanted God foundation dang. agents assessed the situation and properly secured the subject. Class A amnestic drugs were uh -huh. administered to all non-personnel involved, including Andrew's parents in Florida, Did as they have been exposed to information regarding SCP-053 oh. through communication with Andrew. That were not since that was June not 5th, 2004. Did. Andrew had been sending his mother news and updates on SCP-053. Okay. They named her as Abby. Right. Below is the documentation log from four years ago. Okay. First email about Abby uh -huh. to July 10th, 2008. The last email sent out by Andrew to his mother. June 5th, 2004. Hey mom, sorry I haven't emailed you throughout the past month. Uh -huh. Things have been pretty busy. Right. But I have great news. You're gonna be a grandma. Yeah, we pregnant. We found out yesterday but that Maddie's pregnant. <laughs> And we've already started turning the guest room into a baby room. How Good thing nice. I got a pay raise last week. We got to think of the baby now. Hope right. to hear from you soon. It's true, man. That March changes 7, life big time, especially when it's the spawn it's of Satan like this. <laughs> she was born last night around 10 at night. Madeline's water broke as she was going to sleep. Right. We drove to the hospital so fast. I think I almost hit someone. God. Jesus, waiting for the doctors to deliver her felt uh -huh. like years. Now, as I type this email, she's downstairs fast asleep in Maddie's arms. Right. We named her Abby, and she's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. So did the agitation I'll send start pictures soon. then? March 8th, 2006. Uh-huh. Hey, Mom, Abby's first birthday was yesterday. Howard and Rachel even showed up. Got to see their niece for the first time. Okay. Too bad you and Dad are all the way down in Florida. We'll have to visit when Abby's older. Right. Love you. June 24th, 2008. <laughs> okay. There's been an Nothing accident. Nothing yet. Uh-oh. We were at the playground, and we took our eyes off of her for one second, and she fell off of the jungle gym and landed on her head. Oh. I saw well, blood. She healed, huh? The doctor said she'll recover fine, but I can't sleep. It is all my fault. Oh, the guilt, right. June 25th, Yeah, th that does make you feel terrible. The hospital when a called kid gets hurt on and said watch? that Abby will have to stay there for a few more days. Okay. But she's all patched up and on the fast track to recovery. How would no you brain not stay in the hospital anything, the whole time? I'm just glad my baby is going to be okay. I, there's no way I could leave the hospital July 2nd, if my baby was hurt like that. Mom, there's something wrong with Abby. Yeah? I mean, she looks and acts perfectly fine, but I know something isn't right with her. Madeline says she feels it too. We okay. started feeling it after Abby's injury at the playground. It's starting to develop. We've had the doctors look her over, uh -huh. but as far as they're concerned, they couldn't identify any permanent damage, so it didn't happen physical immediately. or mental. Right. But I just know there's something wrong with her. Right. July 5th, 2008. We got an email from Dr. Williams today. All right. He says that he's been able to identify problems exist in Abby, 
Okay. But he can't determine if they're physical or mental. All right. It just doesn't make any sense, he what, says. What are the problems He then? claimed that whenever he was around her, he couldn't shake the feeling of wrongness. Right. The staff who were working with him agreed, apparently. He didn't tell us at first because he didn't want Maddie it's and I to stronger. worry. getting But it appears that he just couldn't keep quiet any longer. So why did What's it not affect them? What's wrong with my daughter? July 9th, 2008. I can't even look at Abby for oh. more than a few seconds at a time now. Wow. There's something about her now, and it just shouldn't be. When I'm around her, I just get this awful, indescribable feeling. That's horrible, Like I'd rather man. be anywhere else but next to my own Your daughter. Your own daughter. I try and limit my imagine? interaction with her as much as I possibly can. It's terrible. But being around oh. her, it makes me want to throw up. And they want to be with it's you all the time. Of her, the kids. In her eyes, in her skin, wow. everything about her. I just don't know what it is. And it's anomalous. You July can't resist 10th, it. 2008. I touched her hand. It felt so wrong. Madeline said she felt it too. Wow. But she believes that it's something inside of her. Okay. I'm going to kill them both. What? I'm going to kill that and I'm going to kill that thing. What? It needs to die. Okay. So the parents After died too. the last email, Andrew's mother quickly phoned the local police to check on his son. Uh-huh. Soon after, police discovered 053 and the deceased bodies of the couple within the okay, same room. Okay, it was the same people then. Madeline had died from multiple stab wounds inflicted by Andrew, who had died from a massive heart attack shortly afterward, believed to have been caused by 053's anomalous effects. Wow, it could cause Following heart attacks Following this incident, too. 053 was contained by the foundation. Right. 053 is to be contained in an area no less than 5 by 5 meters okay. and given adequate room to move. That's plenty of room. Toys, oh, books, room. Games and other recreational devices are to be provided and rotated every three months. Okay. Proper bedding, bathroom, and medical facilities are to be maintained at all times. In Does addition, she age? 053 is also given three meals a day, alongside snacks if requested. For sure. Anyone who enters her chamber Kids must wear snacks, an eye man. covering suit for safety <laughs> concerns. And while gifts from her are allowed to be accepted, so they, can't they must be removed them? from the room. Oh, only so one person is allowed visual. in her room in any given instance, and they are only permitted to stay for no longer than 10 minutes. So they don't get any sharp mad at objects each other. or firearms are banned from her room. Of course. And anyone who begins to act erratically, scream, or attempt to up. grab 053 are to be removed and quarantined. Pull them up. In a termination test, the foundation introduced SCP-682 to SCP-053. Right. 682 appeared to be very confused and showed no signs of being affected by 053. All right. Initially, That's the 053 hard to kill appeared to harassed. be afraid of 682 and hid behind a chair in her containment area. Right, of course. 682 then <laughs> lowered itself to the ground, dangerous. resting its head on the floor and spoke after a while. But he's just being humble. 053 approached 682. Peaceful. And after several seconds of hesitation, she briefly touched SCP-682 before quickly returning like to her hiding place. Like a big puppy dog. <laughs> 682 had no, no reaction. reaction. 053 approached 682 and pat its head, causing it to exhale through its forward nostrils. Wow. SCP-053 clapped and hopped in place several times before embracing the head of SCP-682. How wild, For the remainder man. of the testing period, 682 did not feel frustrated by spending time with this small child okay. like he did in every other test. He understood that the child was a hated thing as well. One that had suffered like him. Wow. They were alike in that way. He had attempted to break out a few times anyways, to find out where the disgusting researchers were watching from and find out <laughs> if they had hurt her as they had him. He's very intelligent. This had, however, frightened 053. Right. So, for the time being, he allowed himself to be decorated with a cowboy hat that was too small. Wow. Although, he appreciated how oddly pleasant and relaxing it was uh -huh. when her tiny arms hugged his scarred, scaly back and demanded to be carried around. Kids can have that effect. Eventually, on you. 053 Except grew tired, <laughs> yawning and rubbing her eyes with tiny fists. Right. 682 lifted the child carefully in his wow. teeth by the back of her shirt and carried her off to bed, placing her gently on the mattress and circling the bed once, twice, three times before curling around her in a protective little Just ring. Just like a doggy. Soon enough, 
Zero five three was fast a big asleep, old doggy. <laughs> and he was her new protector. Yo, that was a cool spin on it. I ain't gonna lie. The fact that everything hated her or would grow to hate her, but even her parents, but 6A2 actually understood that it was hated like everything hated him, which he hates life itself. So it's kind of wild. I don't know, man. We reacted to 6A2 long time ago. It was a really, really good animation. Make sure to check out the rubber guys and a couple other videos that I reacted to from other SCP animators. Thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Uljin signing off and we'll see you next time. Break it down.